Are you a person who would love to get into CNCing, but you can't draw or you're worried about how to create vectors on a computer for your projects? Well, AI is the game changer you've been waiting for. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use AI to create vectors for your CNC projects. Let's hop to it. Hey there, CNCers. I know there's lots of people out there who would really love to get into CNCing, but are afraid because they can't create the artwork themselves. So they automatically think that CNCing can't be for them. You are not alone. Let me reassure you about that. There are lots of people who feel the same way you do. Now, there are lots of sites out there to purchase or find freebie files from, but sometimes, quite often, they don't quite hit the nail on the head of what you want to create. So what do you do then? You certainly don't want to settle. AI to the rescue! With AI, as long as you can type in some words describing what you want, you should be able to get an image, or even better, AI created vectors for pretty well any project you want to create. Save your AI artwork, pop it open in your favorite CAD CAM software, set some toolpaths, and you've got yourself a project created in just minutes. Before I get too far into this video, don't forget you can download the free files for this project, the link is in the description below, so grab them so you can follow along. As I said, there are a ton of options out there for online AI image generators these days. I say image because these engines currently support pixel-based image creation. Some of the popular ones right now are Dolly, Midjourney, OpenArt, and Copilot. However, AI has improved, and you now have the ability to create vector-based artwork. This is huge for CNCers especially, who can't create their own art for whatever reason, because you have the ability to import clean vector-based line work versus having to trace an image which is based on pixels. Let me be clear, that's not to say you can't use pixel-based images to get great results. You absolutely can. And just to prove it, I've done a Basics for Beginners video on how to import and trace an image. You can find the link in the description down below for if and when that time comes. But vector-based artwork means there's no degradation in the quality of the line work, so you can scale and edit to your heart's content. Having the ability to create custom vector-based artwork is pretty wild, I have to say. Same as AI image creation, there are more and more AI vector generators emerging pretty much daily. Adobe Firefly, Canva, and Kittle are just a few of the ones that exist as of the time of this video being made. I'm going to use Recraft AI today to create my vector artwork though. Now a little disclaimer. In this wonderful golden era of AI image generation, make sure you read the terms for usage rights and ownership. Just because robots are creating the images doesn't mean laws don't apply. Over here in Recraft, you can use the free version for free. Again, there are limiting factors on free accounts, like who owns the images being probably the biggest factor to consider, or you can pay. The more you pay, the more options and credits you get and so on. So pick the plan that works best for you. If you've never used an AI generator before, it's fairly simple. Be sure you set a timer though. The rabbit hole of AI image creation goes very deep and you can get lost. If you're not sure where to start in Recraft, it has instructions right on the screen to help you along. Middle mouse button will allow you to pan around the screen. You can zoom in or out way down here or by holding control plus and scrolling your middle mouse button. Then it's just a matter of clicking on new image. You can change the dimensions of the artwork you'd like to create. You can change the style. You can create raster or pixel-based images, but you can also select the vector tab to create vector-based art. I'm choosing line art for my style to keep it clean and simple, which should make it easier to manipulate in VCarve later on. Now it's just time to type in a description of what you want to create. Keep in mind, you can be as generic or specific as you'd like when describing what you want to create. You can type in cute bunny and see what you get. Or a little more detailed like a simple cute bunny sitting on its back legs from a front view with its ears up and no background. You'll get a few variations to choose from at the bottom of the screen. You can type control C, control V, or right click and copy paste from within the view so you can keep a copy of it if you'd like. I typically do this, everyone knows how much I love my backups. If you don't like the options created, you can go up to the fine tune and move the slider to create a variation that is more or less similar to the current image. You can also click recraft and it'll regenerate options until you're pleased. Or you can just change your description and start all over. A nice tip when it works, once you're happy with your artwork, 
right click and remove background. This will get rid of overlapping vectors when you import into your chosen software. I found it doesn't always work out the way I expected. It creates a weird image. I don't know why, to be totally honest. Thanks for nothing, AI. When you finally finished tinkering, right click on your image and export as an SVG. In a matter of just a few clicks, you've solved your entire image creation problem. Speaking of solving your problems, hopefully you're finding some value in this video already. If you have, we'd certainly appreciate if you'd click on those like and subscribe buttons down below. We want to make Seeing accessible for everyone. By showing us some love, we can keep making super helpful, free videos and projects that will help you get the most out of your time seeing seeing. Go ahead, give us a like. Now let's whip through my file setup. I'm going to use vCarve Pro to carve this out. I won't lie, I kept going down the AI creation matrix long after I stopped screen recording because I wasn't happy with what it had given me to that point. Until it finally spit out this little cutie. So I imported the SVG from Recraft. There are some parts of the vectors that I don't need for my project, so I'm just gonna delete those. You might need to edit some nodes to get nice closed vectors. That will depend on the image you've created and what your project plans are. I decided to leave the bunny's face for extra cuteness factor versus having a weird egg for an eye situation happening there. After I offset my rabbit vectors, I use the fit to curve option to clean that up to make things a little bit nicer using Bezier curves. You'll see it go from lots of verts to none, not verts, nodes. You know what I'm talking about. There we go, much cleaner. Once you've got your bunny vectors hopping, I just drew an oval so an egg painted or deviled can hang out in there pretty comfortably. I was gonna give some advice on the size of an egg for this, but it felt odd suggesting a recommended egg oval size. So make an oval size of an egg local to your area. I will almost guarantee you that even though AI can create vectors for you, you're still gonna mess around with them once you've imported them. So spend as much or as little time tinkering with your vectors as you'd like. All right, this looks good to me. Let's assign some tool paths now. I'm gonna use a 90 degree V-bit to carve out old Anthony Hopkins here. I'm busting out a one inch round groove bit to do the egg holder portions. And I'm gonna bring up my, one of my bestest buddies, quarter inch down cut to make the profile cut to finish things off. Speaking of bits, if you didn't already know, CNC sells more than just CNC machines. We sell bits and accessories for all your project needs. Check out our online store at cnc.com to find everything CNC you're looking for. Alrighty, I got my toolpath saved and it's time to carve old Thumper out. As always, make sure you're using safe practices and wearing your safety gear when using any tool. There we go. A quick sand to make sure everything is as smooth as an egg. <laughs> it's too easy. Apply your favorite finish, making sure to use a food safe finish in case your tray is going to be in contact with edibles. Wait, no. you know what I mean, you'll be set. So what do you think? Is AI a good thing or is it cheating? As someone who's a pretty good artist, and who does marketing for a living when ChatGPT and AI started picking up steam, 
I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of annoyed. I thought, this is going to affect a lot of people's livelihoods. This is gonna suck for people who actually generate incomes with their art. On the same hand, look at how many doors have been opened for people because of AI that would have had to find other ways to create things. So let's hear what you think. Drop a comment below on whether or not AI is going to ruin art and creation as we know it, or if it's just another tool in the toolbox. See you around CNC.